This video is brought to you by Raycon. You're not going to believe this, Mason, but we've actually been issued a challenge on Twitter.com. Really? By whom? Uh, this is from Katie Holland. Okay. This is the right. name of the quiz that she's challenged us to do and also the tweet that she's sent us. Unless you've been a Marvel fan since day one, there's no way you'll pass this unreasonably difficult quiz. So unless we've been a fan of Marvel since day one, so like 1962. Are they talking about the timely era as well? Mm, maybe timely comics, sure. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on here. So actually, I've clicked on over. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, leave a like on this video. So you haven't seen this at all? No. Nope. Okay, this is wild stuff. And, this is uh, unprecedented. I know, right? Unless you were there for the conception of Stan Lee, <laughs> you will not win this quiz. So yeah, BuzzFeed, one of our favourites, set mm -hmm. this up. And it's an A to Z of Marvel quiz. Okay, sure. Or Z, as some people say, depending mm. where you are in the world. So 26 questions? 26 one questions. Would guess. That's right. I'm aware of the number of letters in the English alphabet. You know what's up. Mm. And not only that, to make it a little bit easier, there's three options for every answer. Okay. I don't know why. And two of them are different letters. <laughs> so. <laughs> Have you ever seen a quiz where there's three options? Oh, by the way, it's linked below if you do want to play along. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go. Question number A. Oh, no, James. No, no, no. Don't like this at all. Don't like this formatting. Very upsetting. An object designed by Howard Stark and Anton Vanko to replicate the Tesseract's energy. Well, I know the answer. Yep. But well, let's go through the Here options anyway. For fun banter purposes. Agreed. Arc reactor, ancient reactor, amulet stone. Wow. Mm. What a world it would be if they created an amulet stone <laughs> and like sold it on like a TV, yeah. like a network of some sort, you know, like... Like it's a sharp knife or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Right? Or something that can grate a cabbage to pieces. That's right. Yeah. But, and, but it's, it's an arc reactor. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and, it, and that would certainly not go on the TV shopping network. No, 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 no. Maybe in Russia. Yeah. Question number B. The place where Barton and Romanov remember very differently. Mm. Barcelona, Bahamas, Budapest. Could be any of those because maybe they, you know, everybody's memory yeah. is subjective mm. and prone to faults. I think what they're thinking of is is obviously the uh, the Barcelona Olympics. Yeah, yeah, they both remember the lyrics to "Amigos <laughs> para siempre" differently. <laughs> wow, well, it means you'll always be my that's friend. That's what it means. Yeah, nineteen ninety two. What a year! But it's Budapest. It's Budapest. It is. Yeah. Question C: The extraterrestrials who were under the control of Loki, Chitari, mm -hmm. Chaturai, mm. or the Chuntari. Well, two of those are just nonsense. All, well, three of those are <laughs> it's nonsense, all nonsense. But one of the it, one is only significant to us, That's and I right. think it's a Chitauri there. Exactly. In the uh, in the Ultimate Comics universe, the Chitauri are actually the Skrulls. Really? Yeah, they renamed them for some reason. Now we know. Now we know. D. The ruler of the Dark Dimension, who Doctor Strange made several bargains with, Dormammu, mm -hmm. Dorm Mamu, Dorm Dash Mamu. So this is more. Oh, like sorry. A, the first one's Dora Mamu. Okay, so this is more a spelling thing yeah, than a anything spelling else. Yeah, it's a spelling contest. Because we know it's Dormammu. Yeah. It's so all it's one the, word. I picked the middle one, okay, and that's great. what it is. Uh, e. Peter Quill's biological father. Ego. Ethan. Etho. <laughs> e from Entourage. Which is it? I about added that last one. That's pretty good. What's his name? E. Well, it's Eric, I guess, isn't it? Mm. Anyway, we're not here to talk Entourage. Oh, well, then I'm, I'm leaving. Um, I thought this was going to turn into Entourage talk at some point. So. How about this? Yes. In honour of Entourage, we'll pick Ego. Oh, yeah, I get it. everybody in that <laughs> show oh, yeah. is Ego personified. See, I thought more... I, I feel like... This could be, be harder? Not to be critical of this quiz. Yeah, I think it's easy and we're going to crush it. We're not going to make any mistakes. That is my prediction. Mm. But you would think they'd dive a little deeper into the history of Marvel stuff and actually give us other Marvel characters starting with E. I agree. So there might be a challenge there, but... Yeah, it's just whatever, I guess. Yeah. F. Inhabitants of Jotunheim. Frost beings, frost giants, frost warriors. Frost. Again... Yeah, that speaks to your point of like pick a different thing. Yeah. Anyway, it's frost we've, giants. Yeah. We've, we've uncovered the floor in this. Yeah. Uh, only a few letters in. Here we go. F the floor. Yes. Agreed. G. A character who had the ability to make themselves invisible and phase through objects. Ghoul. Gavision. <laughs> galactic man. Ghost. Is there a galactic man? There's a Galactus. That is true. Mm. But it's ghost. And there's a Captain Universe. Yeah. And there's a. There's a literal universe. Yep. And that's all we know. H or H, as people say. Mm. People are like, that's not how you pronounce the letter H. Hey, shut up. That's what I say, Mason. Sure. Tony Stark's best friend, who is, not really, dating May Parker. Happy Hogan, happy Holman, happy Hollister. Good. James Rhodes is his best friend. That is true. Happy Hogan is his annoying employee. <laughs> that's what's, what's his happening. underling. Yes, he's, he's, he's toady. <laughs> Great reference, Mason. Thank you. Uh, I, 
Character who was unwillingly injected with the super soldier serum and told to eliminate the winter soldier. Isaac Bradley. Isaiah Bradley. Ivan Bradley. Now, there is an Isaac Bradley, isn't there? Is there? Is there? I don't think so. Okay, well, there is an Isaiah Bradley. <laughs> Kristen, that's the answer. Is there yes. not an Isaac Bradley there in the There is universe? a... No, I don't think there is. I've just given it a quick googs and you're absolutely right. Yes. And I feel like a right fool. And <laughs> you can edit all this out if you feel No, no, it stays. Because okay. people need to know that even I am mm. flawed. People need to know that. I think they knew. <laughs> no, now they know. I think that's what sure. you mean. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay. Scott Lang's parole officer who also worked with Darcy Lewis and Monica Rambo. Jimmy Woo, Jason Woo, Josh Woo. The universe would be a different place if it was a Josh Woo. I agree. But it's Jimmy Woo. It is. Oh, he finally mastered that card trick. And we're all on board for some reason. I'm very much on board. Mm-hmm. Kay, a revolutionist who didn't print enough pamphlets. Kai Coloni Korg. A uh, Korg, but who's this Kai? Don't know. Just Imagine don't. this universe was populated by a bunch of Joshes and Kais. <laughs> there'd be uh, there'd be more like um It'd be more like rap metal, I think, Yes. on the soundtracks. Al, Thor's adopted brother who had been falling for 30 minutes. Loki, Loki 2, Lane Odinson. What? You know, second Loki, which would be like Loki from the TV show Loki. Oh. Because he would have, it's, it's from another dimension. I see. Yeah. I guess he's Loki too. Okay. I don't know. And who's the other guy? Lane Odinson. <laughs> just a guy, just... <laughs> Works. He's an accountant. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's Loki. First, first Loki. first Loki. Thor's weapon that his sister destroyed like a piece of glass. This is a spelling test, so I'm just going to pick the one that's right. It's Mjolnir, but they've just spelled it three yeah, different right, ways, right, and right, I don't right. care for it, and I'm not going to entertain. You're not going to dignify this <laughs> quiz by spelling out all the silly words. Exactly. Mm. N, individual worlds that orbit Midgard, which of course is? Uh, Earth. Very good. That wasn't a question on the quiz, but what is it? Nine realms, nine celestials, Non celestials, <laughs> just regular, just just dead bodies in space. Just what's up? It's the first thing you said, I think. This is fucking bullshit, mate. <laughs> this is a bullshit quiz. But that being said, thank you, Katie, for sending it over because it shows how great we are. That being said, like a normal person couldn't do this, right? Like I couldn't give this to my parents and they could do this. <laughs> Maybe that's the next video. <laughs> <laughs> Same quiz. Yep. Just my parents. That's right. Yeah. Oh, an ancient artifact that housed the Power Stone. Orion's tomb, orb, operation found. Just an orb, just, just an orb. orb. It's an orb, right? The video, the 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 board game operation. <laughs> yes, it's just in a. I mean, it's in an it's orb. It's in his tum tum. It might be. Mm. It's in an orb, right? It's in an orb, yeah. It's just in an orb. P, a member of Shield who watched Captain America while he was sleeping. Peter Coulson, mm-hmm. Patrick Coulson, Phil Coulson. It's Phil Coulson. When did he watch him while he was asleep? Probably before that movie starts, like a creep. Oh yeah. I think when he was frozen, right? I not, guess so. Not in his regular life. I mean, I assume so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like on the heli carrier or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Q, a jet used by Verz and Nick Fury during Project Pegasus. This one might be a bit tricky. I know the answer. Okay. Let me see if you know. Is it a quad jet, a quin jet, or a quin with a double N jet? Ooh, because they've used both. The yeah. Avengers have quin jets. Yes. But, of course, Nick Fury and Verz, as in Carol Danvers. Yeah. That was set in the past. Set in the past. Maybe it was a quad jet. And it was a proto Jet, so yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a quad jet. Oh, okay, and I'm correct. Yes, you nearly got us, nearly but not got really. Us quiz. Let's get back on track with something stunningly they easy. Used a quad jet again quite recently, I think. Did they? Since something. Wow. Let's think about it. Okay. And then remember after we stop recording. Okay, let's do that. If you actually know, leave it below. Mm-hmm. Ah, a training program used to train young girls to become assassins and spies. Red room, red code, routine red. <laughs> Six cues. It's mate. routine red, everybody. Oh, routine red. Okay. Positions. I thought you said root and red. <laughs> root and which red. Which would mean a different thing. It would. In, in Australia. Yes. Uh, it's the red room. It's the red room. Yeah. Was it in Black Widow? Was it like a knockoff Russian quad jet that you saw, potentially? No, they definitely said quad jet, and I was like, huh, huh, I said. That's what he said to himself. Yeah, huh. Oh my goodness, look at me out for a walk just loving my Raycon earbuds. Ah, I got you, this is a reenactment. I filmed this at night time. Look, it's neither here nor there because I love that with Raycon, I can listen to audiobooks, I can listen to music, I can listen to the podcast, the Weekly Planet podcast, the best podcast in the world. Raycon earbuds help keep my head clear and my mind fresh. Raycons come with a bunch of gel tips for a custom comfort fit and the feel of these, let me tell you, just incredible. It's like they're not even there. And unlike some other brands, they don't stick out of your ears, which also means, check this out, they don't fall out. Raycon earbuds also have eight hours of playtime, a 32 hour battery life, a built-in mic for any communications you wish to be doing hands-free and seamless. 
Bluetooth pairing. Also, Raycons come with a 45-day happiness guarantee. And you know what else? They just look good. I mean, check out these designs. I'm proud as punch to be sporting these sleek and stylish earbuds. They make my day that little bit better in these dark, dreary, quite frankly, terrifying times. But I love Raycon earbuds. So if you'd like to grab yourself a pair whilst at the same time supporting this channel, click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. On with the video. S, one of Asgard's strongest warriors and a good friend of Warriors 3, Sarah Sif Sarai. Sarah I. Sarai. I don't know. It's Sif. So she's, Sarah I just sounds like a like an indie what's, like actually, an indie folk it's musician. It's Sarah I. So oh, okay. I, I don't know. Even more like an indie folk musician. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, it's Sif because she's not in the Warriors Three issue. That's correct. Yeah. What's that about? That'd make it the Warriors Four. Exactly. And nobody... Unless they called it the Warriors Three plus Sif, but then you'd feel a bit left out. Still, I reckon. I think that would be cooler. <laughs> what if they change it to the Warriors Three plus the guy with this twiddly mustache? Like they kick him out. <laughs> He's like, hey, wait a minute, Fandral. I yeah. want to say T. A now desolated planet where the Guardians and some of the Avengers agreed to defeat Thanos together. Tyanus. Excuse me? Titanus? Mm -hmm. Titan. Yes. It's Titan. It is Titan, yeah. yeah. You, a failed peacekeeping program created by... No, you were a failed peacekeeping program. That is true, mate. My bloody household wheels always bloody screaming at each other. You know what I'm <laughs> I hate my wife, everybody. Have a few bloody <laughs> arguments with the bloody minister for war, am I right? <laughs> Sometimes I just, I tell my wife, Mason, I tell my wife that I've gone down to, to repair my bicycle, but I'm actually in the shed just, 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 just shotgunning beers and ripping bongs, mate. Sometimes I tell my wife I'm, I'm down the pub and I'm actually on the moon of Titan. <laughs> God, I've left the planet because I'm sick of my wife. <laughs> Uh, you, a failed peacekeeping program created by Tony Stark that was juicing on some vibranium cocktails. Oh, that's a bit, oh, bit of, bit of uh, editorialising there. Is what it, are our options? We know what it is. Well, what are our options? It's Ultron, yeah. Ultron's army, or Ultron 2.0. What? I mean, is it just Ultron? It is just Ultron. Because, but there's also, it's called the Ultron, like, the Ultron force that he's made, right? That's like the peacekeeping force that he created, right? Tony Stark. Yeah. I don't think so. It's not the Ultron program? No, the, the, you mean the little robot guys that he built. Yeah. No, they're the um, they're the Iron Legion. Like, okay, fair enough. Mm. Are they? Anyway, let's say Ultron, and it is. <laughs> uh, I overthought that. V. Yeah. <laughs> Are they the Iron Legion in Age of Ultron? Yeah. But I thought the Iron Legion were in Iron Man 3. No, that's just uh, all his armors. To all his armors. V. A group of Asgardian fem- Actually, I don't know. And you know what? But we will know at yeah. the end of the video, or when people leave it below. That's right. V. A group of Asgardian female warriors which Thor wanted to be a part of. It's a spelling quiz. Oh. So it's the middle one. <laughs> Valkyrie. It's terrific. He who you couldn't think of two other things that have V at the start? I've never thought of anything, and neither of you. you not even the, like the V stunt crew? That's right. You know, they give out energy drinks the v, on Asgard. V for Vendetta, the movie. Right? Maybe just a Blu-ray. God. Let's make it a clean, we crisp should, DVD. We should rewrite this quiz and then give it to your parents. <laughs> That's right. Here we go. W. He who listens to Beyonce in the library without knowing his books were being taken using his sling ring. Wu, Wahoon, Wong. Well, it's Wong, isn't it? It is Wong. Mm, if he liked it, he should have put a ring on it. Sling ring. Very good. If he liked it, he should have decapitated Doctor Strange with a sling ring. That's what he should have done. Mm -hmm. X. What bloody Beyonce should have done and Jay-Z. Wow, opinion. Mason. <laughs> I can't believe you're bringing personal confrontations into this. Ah. X. Capital of the Nova Empire, where Gamora and Quill have their first interaction. Xander. Zunder. Xander. Uh, I think it's probably the first one. Yeah, it probably is. Why? Romanov's adoptive sister with a really cool vest. Yelena. Yelena. <laughs> Yelonia. Probably the first one. That's sorry. The first one is Yelena. Oh, they're not the first one. Let's do the middle one. That's correct. And the very last one, Z or Z, mm -hmm. a Wakandan shaman who sacrificed his own life to save Black Panther. Zuri, 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 with just U U R I. We're gonna trust you to do the right thing. I here, think Jones. it's the last one, but it's the Forest Whitaker character. Oh, yeah, and I'm correct. And we have actually gotten. And we got a bit of confetti here when we got that right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 26 out of 26. It says, you scored better than 100% of all quiz takers. Does that mean we're the only people that take this quiz? Apparently so. Wow, good on us. Mm. Those people tapped out you know, as soon as they saw the premise. <laughs> Anyways, if you made this or you're like Katie and you sent it to us, 
We just appreciate just being thrown a softball, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Just a couple of absolute champions just hitting it out of the park. That's right. We deserve a win at some point. That's right. Uh, but as mentioned, this is linked below. And there's something else that's linked below, Mason. You might not believe this, What's but that? it's actually our subscription service. It's called BigSandwich.co. It's $9 a month. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of movie commentaries that we've done. Thousands? No. Uh, there's also feels like thousands bonus podcasts where we talk about clickbaits thousands thousands there's our podcast at Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows every Monday comes out there a day early mm. and of course there's also early videos including our caravan of garbage videos that's right but thanks for watching this video we really appreciate it if you've got a quiz if you've got a bit of a challenge for us mm. maybe if you want to send something piping hot our way <laughs> give it a go piping hot and tough that's right like an old steak <laughs> exactly all right, thanks everybody. Uh, grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Or oh, next video. Because there's, you know, there's videos here all the time, probably. I'm not, I'm too old to change what I say now. You have to say subscribe. I've been saying this you YouTube say thing subscribe. since the day I was born, <laughs> and I'm not changing it now. Fair enough. But subscribe, Mason. Yeah, subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Yeah.